wicked men of war. Wake them up. Read it. He said, take your spare, no, your pruning hooks and your, your plowshares and beat them into spears and swords. So the, the means of cultivation will be turned now into weapons of destruction. Once America does what she does, no nation is safe. Yes, All the nations now will arm themselves with weapons of mass destruction. And the Bible says, come on down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Yes, and there will I plead with them, the nations, for my people. Yes, sir. It's a time of war, brother and sister. You can call for peace all you want. There's not going to be no peace as long as a peace breaker and a warmonger sits in Washington, D.C. They are going to bring down the wrath of God. Yes, sir. Now listen. Some of you are looking at me like I'm crazy. But I'll tell you something. When I finish with you tonight, yes. You're not going to forget what I say because tomorrow when you pick up your paper or next week or the week after, it's going to remind you. Yes, sir. Brother Farrakhan came home and he said this. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. That's right. My prayers are that in the dark hour that's upon us, where things are going to get very bad in America, very bad. And strong black spokespersons will uh, be silenced one way or another. Don't worry about public opinion because America cares nothing about that now. She's like a beast. When she gets ready to attack, she's coming. And if you notice, practically all the members of the Black Caucus voted against the resolution to go to war. So did your Senator Kennedy. So did Senator Byrd, Senator Feingold, Representative Kucinich. 126 members of Congress said no. History will record that they were right. But when this goes to war now, darkness will start. And just what? When I say darkness, I'm not talking about just physical darkness. I'm talking about spiritual darkness now. See, the days of judgment, we're in it now. We're in it. And God has promised America that he will shoot all his arrows at her. Just watch. 49 states were under drought. 49 out of 50. <clears throat> In some states, they're rationing water. Think about it. Other states burning because it's so dry, just a match. Million acres burn up. You have an idea what a million acres look like? More than that burning, nothing, sun coming down, rivers going down, fish coming up dead. Ask the fisherman, how's it going? You ain't seen nothing yet. You think you're going to have a good time eating? No, no, no. Jesus said famine, pestilence. You see famine over there? It's coming here. I'm just telling you what the book says. Both books. This is the time. Everybody gonna bow down. See, when God get to working, you gonna forget crack. You see that pipe that you can't wait to get to when I finish? You'll be in the middle of a, you know, 
and all of a sudden the earth under your foot starts shaking an earthquake and when you hear feel the earth under you shake it you can't smoke no reefer you can't snort no coke <laughs> this book says surely the shock of the hour the day you see it it's a grievous thing but when you see it every woman giving suck will forget her suckling now you think about that if you're nursing your baby it got to be something horrific to make you forget and it said every pregnant one will lay down her burden and you will see men as if they were drunk but they will not be drunk but the chastisement of Allah will be severe this Holy Quran says in that day a baby's head will turn gray it's coming to your America all of us gonna bow down and the book says in that day every knee will bow and every tongue will confess and you ain't gonna confess to prophets you're gonna confess to him who sent them take it or let it alone I'm so happy that I know him and I pray to Allah that all of us will grow Muslim and Christian and never let hatred and division come between us because every Christian in this room you have benefited from the presence of Muslims wait wait don't you applaud let them think you weren't thinking like you thinking now until you met a black man named Elijah Muhammad and if you didn't meet him you met Malcolm yes and Malcolm electrified this country and when Christian ministers debated with us they learned something about the Bible and many that debated with and heard Elijah Muhammad he sparked what in the church what is called a black theology yes he did yes he did yes, yes he did yes and if you didn't meet Elijah and Malcolm or Jeremiah or Kamal or Don you met Imam Waterthuddin he come from that source too and if you didn't meet them you met Muhammad Ali and if you didn't meet him you met Farrakhan all of us have had an effect on your life so for the enemy to tell you that we as Muslims are not the brothers and sisters of our Christian family yes, don't you let them right, right. divide this house that's right. that's right we'll be together yes sir Muslims yes, sir. and Christians yes, sir. now in closing if anything I said offended the whites in the audience I don't want you to think that I'm against you it's not personal there's nothing personal here I'm trying to say to you what white people not you did to ill affect us as a people you already know this but sometimes to hear us say it is painful for you to listen to it. Yes, it is. If I were white sitting there hearing right. somebody talk like this. That's right. <laughs> I, I, I would say, well, why? I mean, why you got to bring that up? You know, man? <laughs> we're, we're, we're trying to get along today. And you are right. You are right. But listen. The Jewish people 
have a right to teach their children the Holocaust. Why should Jewish people teach their children the Holocaust? So that they will never let it happen again. That's why we have history. So we have suffered something. So when we rehearse it with passion, it's not hate, it's just passion. The minister is very passionate about what we've been through. Yes, sir. Not hate, it's just passion. Well, when I say this to our people, I want them to remember so that we will never let it happen again. As the Vatican is for Catholics, as Mecca is for the Muslims, as Amritsar is for the Sikhs, Disneyland is for the Americans. Some of my black brothers and sisters want me to be quiet, be silent. I can't let them go and they can't let me go. I can't let them go. God has me on your behind. And I'm not going to let it go and you got me. Like you're holding on to an electric current and you can't let me go. So we are locked in a life and death struggle. Only one of us is going to survive. Remember Elijah Muhammad taught us about a wheel. And Elijah Muhammad taught us about that great wheel that's in the sky that Ezekiel saw in 595 BC that had eyes all around it and it was a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Well, that wheel is real now. It was a vision then, but it's real now. It has 1,500 bombing planes on it and it is there for the destruction of this world. Now, I'm, I'm going to leave it with this. They've all been lying to you. The government has been holding back from the American people the truth of what you call unidentified flying objects. But listen, listen, listen. You're seeing squadrons of them oh, now over Madrid and Spain and Milan and Italy, over Mexico City over Brazil and the Brazilian government has said they no longer are going to hold back the truth from the people they're going to tell them that these planes do exist and before you can address me as a lying uh, man that is filled with madness you will start seeing these planes over the major cities of America and I'm telling you brother and sister you don't have a damn thing to fear but your fear of your enemy you need to fear the God it's a but I just want you to know that this man is my brother and for all those that want to say he's anti-white and he's anti-semitic liars from the pit of hell. He has stood in support of me when nobody else was supporting me. I was saying to him on the way, and I remember when that mural went up in 1984 and 12 black pastors came to me and said, take that thing down, you're starting trouble. But the minister said, thank God, somebody has put up a mural that we can look at. Please welcome with me my brother whom I love, Minister Louis Farrakhan. the seven heads and the ten horns. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said those ten horns represents ten nations in South America that will lend their power to the beast. 
But then a time is coming when they will take their power from the beast and they will hate the whore and make her desolate. Now if you look at the news, seven nations already in South America have turned on her neighbor from the north. I'm telling you what Elijah Muhammad taught me. I ain't nothing without that man teaching me. But I'm telling you what he said. Now read the newspaper. Venezuela. Hugo Chavez. Argentina. Kirchner. Bolivia. Evo Morales. People coming up from the indigenous that never had power. There's seven of them down there, but this is an election year, and there's somebody coming up in Mexico. In Mexico. Who don't love the gringo. The Warburgs, the Rothschilds, who financed Hitler, German Jews, finance Hitler, right here in America, Lube, Loeb and Kuhn, and Jacob Schiff. International bankers finance Hitler and poor Jews die while big Jews were at the root of what you call the Holocaust. Why don't you tell that? You can't write this. Go back and tell your editor, I want to put this in the paper tomorrow. You've got a hell of a nerve to open your mouth to call me an anti-Semite when your own people have been the worst anti-Semites in the world. You've been tricked. Abraham Lincoln let you out and then said, but now you Negroes that are free, you got to be nonviolent except join the, the army of the North and fight against the army of the south so the negroes that came north see we need you not you but your body so you come and they conscript you into the army put a gun in your hand and make you go shoot your former slave master that's how they use you four hundred thousand of us in the u.s army today what the hell are you doing there why are you there fighting for somebody else's program when you won't fight for your own people and your own justice? What are you doing there? I know the FBI coming after me. I can't talk like this in a time of war. Now I want you to write this down. shall tell you today straight up with the help of Almighty God I'm going to be the one to survive and those who oppose me black or white red yellow or brown high or low you are destined to meet ruin disgrace and total destruction. Write that down. I'm gonna be the winner, living or dead. That two shun a noble piece of paper that would free society he will to struggle with the dying rain. Now, democracy.
Cold 